We work in partnership with Williams and Carson Insurance Brokers, who are the appointed broker to the Association of Photographers. They've been insuring photographers for 30 years, and over the course of that period, the policy has been adjusted, updated, and upgraded throughout that time. The most important point for us with photographers is transparency. Both transparency in terms of what is covered by the policy and transparency in terms of the exclusions. All photographic policies will have exclusions. An example is theft from unattended vehicles. It's being transparent with our clients on when the, the cameras are covered and when they're not, and working with the client if we need to make alterations to those exclusions. Um, in relation to the, the equipment that you own, it's not compulsory to submit an equipment list, but we highly recommend it. The reason we do this is at the point of a claim, it's transparent between the insurer, the client, and us as insurance brokers on exactly what items are covered by the insurance. Um, basically means we can, we can pay, get the claim paid as soon as possible and your equipment replaced. What should we look out for when buying equipment insurance? So the equipment insurance should be all risks. That means that all perils are covered be it water damage, theft, or, or accidental damage. In terms of the premiums charged, insurers will charge a higher price if the equipment is taken out of the studio. They will also charge additional premiums for EU and worldwide cover. Normally equipment is, is simply covered on a UK basis. Also of, of real importance is the inclusion, inclusion of reshoot costs. So this would cover if your memory card or your cameras were damaged or stolen on the way back from a shoot. It will cover the cost to reshoot that day's shoot because that won't be covered by the client. Uh, finally, we've already mentioned exclusions. If your existing broker cannot explain to you the exclusions within the policy or simply say there aren't any exclusions, they probably don't know their policy well enough. So firstly, professional indemnity insurance, that covers your mistakes or allegations from clients that they're unhappy with the quality of your work. The best example is the bride and groom complaining that your picture quality simply isn't good enough. Other insurances we recommend are public liability. So this covers damage to third party property or injury to third parties. It could be a member of the public tripping over your tripod. When working with venues, you are often required to hold 2 million or 5 million public liability. And finally, employer's liability. This is the only module that's compulsory by law. Um, if you have a photography assistant, they're probably deemed to be an employee, in which case you must have employer's liability in place. For more videos and information, please visit www.winnieinsurance.co.uk.